Oh boy. How's it going everybody? My name's Porty. In this video, I kind of want to talk about the state of the game for DVD. I'm not gonna lie. I've been dreading this video a little bit. I've spent the last two weeks kind of debating what I want to do. I've got a short list of concepts that I want to record and edit for you guys. But it's really difficult to do right now with where the game is currently sitting. If you haven't heard, and I'm sure you have, but in case you haven't, the game is kind of broken. So in this video, I kind of want to discuss that a little bit. The impact it's having on the community as a whole. What the community thinks the issue is, and what I personally think the issue is from a slightly different perspective than the rest of the community. And I'll explain that here in a little bit. The first thing I want to kind of talk about is more of like a message to behavior. My message to behavior is kind of like, you should take the hint. And by that I mean pretty much every content creator, pretty much every DVD content creator is specifically talking about the bugs in the game. Every problem under the sun. Which is seems to be kind of affecting almost everything in the game in some way shape or form like i'll show you three of the three of the bigger dvd content creators that i personally watch here's coconut talking about the pay to win this kind of the of the new huntress skin which is true it's it's an incredibly silent skin with almost no wind up sound for the ha uh, for the hatchet it's like nobody played that and tested it and went hmm Probably a good idea. Hey, that's a bad idea. Which, which, don't get me wrong, the skin as a whole is cool, but it's like nobody tested it and went, huh, maybe we should turn up the volume on that. The other bit is the bugs. The last two videos from Coconut are in regards to the most recent update, being the skin for Huntress, and the buggy statement, a compilation of just various bugs from the update that came out. Look at Spooky Loops, arguably one of your biggest... Fog Whispers in the program at the moment, and he's talking about a variety of subjects over the last couple of weeks. He's had cheaters in his lobbies. Your rework decisions are, well, interesting to say the least. He's also talking about the Huntress skin, also calling it pay to win. And then look at literally your your biggest content creator for your game, Ots Darva. And he's got not just one, not just two, but three videos about the current state of the game. Not even including the Huntress skin, by the way. Just the bugs. Almost everything in the game right now is broken. And what's really disappointing about that is there are so many things in this game that need to be literally just kill switched, but they can't. Because from a PR perspective, that would look horrible. Which I understand. They're in a pretty bad position right now as far as good faith for the community, potential licensing agreements. They they really can't have they really can't have these bad PR moves. And this is a horrible one. There's really no winning situation for them other than what they're doing, which is mostly ignoring it. But as far as the community is concerned, that's still a loss on their part. And that kind of brings me to the reason I'm even recording this video. I've got a short list of concepts, like I said, that I want to record and post. I've tried several times, actually, over the last two weeks and failed. The reason being is the state of the game. The game is busted. It's broken. So many things are bugged or glitched that doing anything other than making a video about the state of the game, at least for me right now, is so difficult it's just pointless. Because the video that I'd be making would eventually just be becoming about the bugs anyway. I get that they were on a strict deadline for getting this update out, but the fact that it left, the fact that it went into live like this is fucking embarrassing. Pardon my language. This is arguably the most buggy, glitched out time this game has ever had. <sighs> Everybody's talking about this, but the stuttering, the rubber banding, the lagging, there are a variety of perks that are bugged. And the biggest one being potential energy right now. I know I shouldn't be putting that out there, but Everybody knows at this point, or at least anybody that'd be looking for it already knows. But potential energy is bugged in a way that, like, you can turn any toolbox infinite. Endurance, in some cases, is bugged, where you just get it multiple times. Like, if somebody's running off the record, they get it procced multiple times, dead hard multiple times. And not to mention, this leads us into a completely different problem. This is something I don't really see a lot of people talking about, but I've noticed an increase in this myself. And that's the cheaters. The game being the way that it is is a playground for cheaters because they can get away with almost anything and just go, it was a bug. 
and not just cheaters, but people abusing the broken parts of the game right now. Again, like, look at Potential Energy, for instance, an infinite toolbox. Why would you not run that if you could? You would escape most matches. Or another map that should have been kill switched, being the Stranger Things map, Hawkins Lap. That is the map where the stuttering and the rubber banding is the most egregious because of the particle effects in the map. I kid you not, you could be on one side of the map, run to the other side, and then rubber band all the way back to the other side of the map. And yet, for some reason, the map is still active. So that kind of brings me to this part. Why the community thinks the problems exist. And the community seems to think it's purely because of the Unreal Engine 5 update. I don't think that's the case. The reason I say that is this. The PTB that they ran before the mid-chapter update also ran on Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, it had its own selection of issues. But nowhere near to the degree that we are seeing on live servers. And the PTB servers inherently have more issues, like connection issues or stuttering or lagging, than live servers. But these issues did not exist. These issues did not exist on the PTB. And here's where it comes down to what I personally think is at least one of the main contributing factors to the issues other than simply the Unreal Engine 5 change. There is one major change between the PTB and the live release of the mid-chapter patch. And this is something that kind of a more niche community within the DBD community noticed immediately with the patch. With the update, they encrypted all their files which is fine. I'm sure they want to keep things safe and secure, especially for potential future licensing agreements. 100% understand that. Personally, I think it's the encryption that's at least causing most of these issues. They incorporated the encryption. At least the reason that they gave was to reduce file size for consoles, which is an awesome endeavor. I don't think they needed to do that. 40 gigabytes is more than an expectation for a game today, especially running on like Unreal Engine 5. And 40 gigs was what it was already running on PC and console. It didn't need really be shrank more, but that encryption was not there on the PTB, but it was on live. That is the big primary difference between the PTB and the live release. Again, the PTB did not have anywhere near these level of issues even though it was also running on the Unreal Engine 5 engine. What they really should have done is waited to incorporate that in a future update. Unless for some reason that was a prerequisite for the upcoming chapter, which is supposed to be a licensed chapter. The game is just so scuffed right now. Like, it's funny to watch, especially just in clips. Very frustrating to play. You can ask anybody, your average individual, your average content creator, hell, your biggest content creators for DVD, ask any of them. They're all done with this shit. It sucks. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, please. I, I would love to hear everybody's like stories about what's going on out there right now as far as the state of the game, um, the kind of bugs they are seeing other than just the stuttering. But talk about the stuttering too. Perfectly fine. Thank you everybody for watching if you stuck around this long. I'll catch you guys in a couple weeks. Hopefully we're back to regular content. Have a great evening, everybody.